This is why I don't eat bacon. I know, I break your heart when I tell you this, but look, see all this fat right here? Pigs are fat animals, but like humans, when pigs are fed corn and soy or seed oils, they accumulate the omega-6 fatty acids in their fat. Yes, you accumulate omega-6 fatty acids in your body. You can't get rid of them. Pigs can't get rid of them either. What are most pigs fed? In fact, what are 99.99% of all pigs fed? Corn, soy, and seed oils in their crappy feed, which means excess linoleic acid, excess omega-6, accumulates right there in the fat. Theoretically, pigs would be fine if they were wild, but almost all bacon I've ever seen it's garbage, and I don't eat it because of the excess seed oils that get stuck in the fat. Don't eat this if you really want to thrive. The fact is that we all indeed consume, at least in Russia, an excess of omega-6 fatty acids from regular sunflower and corn oil. There is a viewpoint that the higher heart disease rates in Russia compared to, for example, Italy, where olive oil is more widely consumed, are indeed related to these Mediterranean countries. Because there is an excess of omega-6 fatty acids in these oils that we consume, excess, because omega-6 contributes to the formation of so-called pro-inflammatory prostaglandins in the body and compounds. That's it. As for the bacon he is writing about, first of all, the quality of the bacon matters, but I cannot judge that since I do not see this bacon. I say that the problem is the excess of omega-6, which is more general than he writes. What should be done? It is necessary to introduce foods containing omega-3 fatty acids into the diet for the appropriate balance. We have a tenfold deficiency of omega-3 fatty acids. Well, who likes it? You see, it's not mandatory. Well, if you don't like it, you don't eat it. But I, for example, love it. I would eat a piece, yes, and some men like it too. According to the recommendation of Professor Kalinchenko, Svetlana Yuryevna, an endocrinologist from People's Friendship University, omega-3 should be consumed in amounts of at least 2 grams per day. Omega-3 constantly, in a consistent manner, and we will establish a balance regarding omega-6, then this parameter that he mentioned will not be dangerous. Moreover, the amount of omega-3 that we definitely consume is indeed a factor that leads to pathological consequences from the excess of omega-6, but not only due to bacon. Here are the common vegetable oils that sit for months, and they should not be stored in sunlight. This is what we get, and this is what this person is writing about. But it's not just about bacon, and that's even more dangerous, because I can choose not to eat bacon, for example. Sunflower and corn oil are used by all housewives for frying various foods, not thinking that they underwent peroxide oxidation simply during storage. If earlier unrefined sunflower oil would gradually go rancid when left standing, and then the housewife, upon smelling it, would not buy it, refined oil does not show signs of rancidity externally, but that does not mean it retains its quality. This is how you should approach it. So whether you love bacon or not, a certain amount can be consumed. Everything in moderation. Here, no matter what we talk about, moderation is key in nutrition. Overeating is always dangerous. And not just sugars, not just products containing sugar, and not just the same bacon, for example, especially the fatty kind with an excess of saturated fatty acids. Here, there is not only a lot of omega-3, but also a high amount of saturated fatty acids in bacon. But in moderate and reasonable amounts, there is nothing problematic or wrong if there is adequate and sufficient compensation for the deficiency of omega-3 fatty acids. You see, nutrition, for example, flaxseed oil, as a source of omega-3 fatty acids, should not be heated at all, only used in salads. Incorporate into your diet, for example, camelina oil. It is similar to flaxseed oil, but it simply tastes better. Here, include omega-3, include cold water fish, not all sea fish, as some have cunningly started to write now. Sea fish. In fact, not every type of sea fish contains omega-3, only cold water fish, and especially wild fish, that is, when it eats by itself, rather than being fed some synthetic feed from bags. This is also something to pay attention to. 
Here, you know, the questions are more complex. And balance your diet and maintain a healthy lifestyle. The most crucial thing here is a balanced diet. Olive oil beneficial, especially if it is unrefined olive oil and freshly squeezed. Firstly, it has a very delicious taste, a high quality flavor. I only tried freshly squeezed olive oil in Croatia. Indeed, magnificent taste. So it has little omega-6. There is a lot of omega-9. Moreover, unrefined olive oil has a very high percentage of polyphenolic antioxidants, which is beneficial for health and is known for its ability to reduce inflammation. This is something crucial. It is not only in bacon, 